This is History Animated. This video is sponsored by the city of Lapu Lapu, Taco Bows, Huion, the global leader in creative tablets manufacturing. According to folks' accounts, around 1490, a bold and smart man was born named Lapu-Lapu, whose name was first recorded as Siliapu-Lapu or Silapu-Lapu. He came from the Southeast Asia and the country of Borneo, but still there is no exact date of his existence. As Lapu-Lapu grew up, when he reached six years old, he already knew how to do horseback riding. And after a year, he learned how to write and read. As years went by, he became an excellent fighter and was also good in many sports. At the age of 18, Lapu-Lapu already mastered the swimming and wrestling sports and became champions of these sports. When he reached 20 years old, he already fought Borneo soldiers and pirates and achieved victories in his battles. Meanwhile, as time flew, according to folks' accounts, Lapu-Lapu went to the island of Cebu. When he arrived in Cebu, he met Raha Humabu, who was recognized by the native as the island's king. So at that time, he asked the chieftain of Cebu for a place to settle since he had just arrived from Borneo and he had no place to stay. In response to his favor, Raha Humabun offered him the region of Mandawili, currently known as Mandawe, and also the Opung area. As a return, he should maintain the prosperity of the island. And soon, Lapu-Lapu became the chieftain of the region and it was called Datu Lapu-Lapu of Matan Island. Later on, Lapu-Lapu became a great leader among his fellow men. He didn't help Raha Humabun to make use of natural resources within the island of Cebu and also in Mactan in return of Humabun's goodness to Lapu-Lapu. On April 7, 1521, an explorer named Ferdinand Magellan came to Cebu accompanied by some Portuguese and Spaniards. Upon his arrival, he befriended Raha Humabun and the locals and introduced Christianity to them. Later on, they were baptized. Magellan was not yet satisfied, as he also wanted to introduce Christianity to other side of Cebu. Magellan then asked Humabun for help. So Humabun sent someone to approach two datos in Mactan, which was Datu Lapu-Lapu and Datu Zula, to be baptized to Christianity. But Lapu-Lapu refused to convert to Christianity. He thought that it was just a way for Spaniards to have supremacy over him and to his people. This was Lapu-Lapu's way of protecting his allies against the Spanish colonization. He didn't want Spaniards to control and manipulate his people. So upon Lapu-Lapu's refusal, Magellan gave him another chance if he would accept sovereignty of the Spanish and to consider Magellan as his superior. But then again, he refused and said he wasn't afraid of them. Only Lapu-Lapu dared to refuse their commands, unlike the other Datu. Because of his refusal and disobedience of Humabun and the Spaniards' orders, a rivalry arose. Humabun approached Magellan to fight against Lapu-Lapu to cut off his power. And this led to the famous battle in Cebu, which was known as the Battle of Makan. 
And as of today, Lapu-Lapu was regarded as the first hero in the Philippines, for he was the first native to resist against the Spanish colonization. In that event, he symbolizes a true Filipino. He became the inspiration of some heroes who also fought against those people who wanted to colonize the Philippines. And through him, he became the way to shape the identity of being a Filipino.